Welcome back here on Live Now from Fox, and I do want to get to some breaking news at this hour as Secret Service agents protecting President Biden's granddaughter opened fire after three people trying to break into an unmarked Secret Service vehicle in the nation's capital. That is according to a law enforcement official. The agents assigned to protect Naomi Biden were out with her in Georgetown neighborhood late last night when they saw the three people breaking a window of the parked and unoccupied SUV. The official, of course, remaining anonymous. So at the time of this story being developed here, we actually just got a statement that came in from the Secret Service where they provide just a few details about what is known so far. Take a look at your screen right now. Again, that is the statement here. And they did say our preliminary statement on the weapon discharge following a break in to a Secret Service vehicle Two to three possible suspects fled the scene in a vehicle and a regional bulletin has been issued to supporting units. DC police are investigating. I do want to go over the statement itself though that is off to the left side of your screen. Take a look. They said November 12th, just before midnight in the Georgetown neighborhood of DC, Secret Service agents encountered possibly three individuals breaking a window on a parked and unoccupied government vehicle during the encounter, a federal agent discharged a service weapon, and it is believed that no one was struck. The offenders immediately fled the scene in a red vehicle, and a regional lookout was issued to supporting units. There was no threat to any protectees, and the incident is being investigated by the D.C. Metro Police Department and the Secret Service. Again, we did learn from the Associated Press after they spoke with an official there with law enforcement that those agents were protecting President Biden's granddaughter when they opened fire. At this point, there is still a lot left to figure out, but we do know that Washington has seen a significant rise in the number of carjackings and car thefts this year. Police reporting more than 750 carjackings this year and more than 6,000 reports of stolen vehicles in the district. U.S. Representative Henry Kuehler of Texas was carjacked near the Capitol last month by three armed assailants who stole his car but did not physically harm him. Violent crime in Washington also on the rise this year, up more than 40% compared with last year. In February, U.S. Representative Angie Craig of Minnesota was assaulted in her apartment building, suffering bruises while escaping serious injury. Again, what you're looking at on your screen right there is the statement provided by the Secret Service. Very limited information, but the Associated Press reporting that those Secret Service agents were protecting Biden's granddaughter, Naomi Biden.